it took me about 10 minutes to stop sobbing. But as soon as I saw him after surgery, and he looked at me and told me, it doesn't hurt anymore. And he had lost his leg. I realized how much pain he was truly in. Oh! No, no. How would you describe sort of the difference between your dad now and he was before he actually had his amputation, before he was able to participate? We would like want him to come play with us and he would just be in bed and his foot swollen, not being able to do anything after work or anything. But now he can play on the trampoline, he can run around with us. He keeps, a, keeps things lighthearted. He should probably have an amputation. Your feet think so bad you should have it removed. <laughs> you know, so again, one of those motivating factors for the group when it gets to those tough times, when everybody's kind of in a bad mood because they, they haven't slept in a few days or have a headache, um, I'm pretty sure Kevin's going to be there to kind of lighten the mood and, you know, keep everybody laughing, keeping their mind off the pain when your body's hurting and you don't want to continue. <laughs> <laughs> He's trained a lot over this last year, you know, pretty dedicated. He would go uh, hiking, but on his own, on his lunch breaks at work. I want to miss you guys. Y'all going to be there Friday when we get to the airport? The two years ago, I was contemplating having my leg amputated. Now, I flew in after a 30-hour flight from Africa after climbing one of the seven tallest summits in the world. <laughs>